So Jack Sigma lads, Jack Sigma, one of the best power forwards in the game and a completely free card. You can get him in like, again, it's like the 40 minutes, same every day, it's not too bad. I'm actually a little bit behind on these challenges. I need to complete three of the 20 minute games for the last three days. I only got Sigma. I haven't even gotten the last three of these, which is kind of crazy. So if you look at my um, all time rewards, I haven't got uh, any of the threes. I've done all the like TTO games. I just need to AFK three games, basically. Is it four games I have to AFK? I have to AFK four games. I'm four days behind. Either way, I got three of the cards, I guess. Um, but team's looking all right. Team's looking okay. We probably, whether Jack's, basically Jack Sigma, it's either gonna be him or Bill Walton. Probably gonna be Sigma. The only reason um, right now is that Ralph is injured for two games. Why they're both still in the squad. But if I was making my best team, it would be this. And uh, yeah, so obviously Sigma, great three ball, good ball handle, great defense. Speed is a little bit. A little bit iffy at like 90. If you're using, um, if you've got him. For me, it's always between perimeter centric and pace and space. If you're running with someone like him in your team, and especially again, with like, I think does Taco get that? I'm, I'm going to use Paul Westfall. Just to coach to get that speed boosted up to like 95. Which is again, basically 99. But, take a look at how Sigma plays. So, Sigma in game. Like that release, it kind of looks like a Hito, Tim Thomas-esque release. He's got that Kobe um, escape, but the Kobe size is really good. If you can get that uh, between the legs going and you can actually burst off that, you're doing pretty well. Release-wise, it is probably the fastest release for a power forward in all of my team. Not probably, it is the fastest release. It's a super quick base with the fastest upper in the game. Problem is, is it is inconsistent. He is, he is going to be one of the load of kings of this game. Normal leaner, though. Like, I don't know why I'm out here trying to crab. He doesn't move, like, his movement doesn't feel like, um, like say, Sabonis, who has got similar animations. It's really hard to do the between legs this year. Like you, you, the angle to get that is so short. Like if you can, I need a burst off. It isn't quite as effective as last year. Either way though, Jack Sigma, sniper, a sniper. One of the best pick and pop shooting bigs in the game. And probably he could be one of the best stretch bigs in the game because of his size. He's basically like a modern day Bob Nedelicki. Like if you remember how people use Bob Nedelicki, his job was to get shots off fast and to play a little bit of defense. Like what he is, is again, he is that modern modern day equivalent of uh, what Bob Nedelicki was in probably, I'm not going to say January because Bob Nedelicki was that dude in January, in like February, March when a few people still around Bob. That's the way Jack Sigmund's going to be. I think there are going to be some really good players that are running Jack Sigmund their team just purely because of how just really good that jumper is. If you can get consistent with that, it's the best jump shot on a big in the entire game this year. So anyway, now it's grade three. Now let's get on to the game. So would I prefer him if he had KCP base with that upper? Maybe, but it's not it. This release is absolutely chick. Like I was shooting with no badges and greening everything. I don't Hall of Fame greening everything with earlier. But uh, let's go into clutch time. And I'm gonna play Artis. Like if Ralph's injured, Artis you can play. And go in, not for Bill. You go in there. Uh, point guards. Who do I want? Give me, give me pistol Paul. Give me pistol Paul, a point guard. And again, for those of you wondering why I'm calling him pistol Paul, 2K say, 2K said his nickname was Pistol Pete. His nickname's not Pistol Pete. His name is Paul. But uh, yeah, so let's see what we are up against right here. So Ja, T-Mac. Oh, wow. Hey, he's much more than Invincible Giannis. He's better than Invincible Giannis. I will say that he's better than Invincible Giannis. On the pop, in there. Is that open? Wow, I could have greened that. It's a wild pass to throw. It worked though. All right, that's the one issue with him is that there is potential there, 
that his release is just very difficult to time. Go through the likes, please. Good. Come on, Sigma. He's out here pausing me. He's out here pausing me because Jack Sigma just Kobe, Kobe freaking sized up into a burn. Like... Is he just done? He's just done. I think he might be just, no, he's, he's here. Okay. We're good. You hit, you hit. You hit that, you hit that, good shot. All right, I do have to be ready to shoot with Sigma if needed. Or not shoot with Sigma, shoot with Westfall if needed. There we go, I should be green. Like, why would you spot up at the halfway line? Just spot up from somewhere where you can maybe shoot from. Go past Sigma. Oh my! Scotty wasn't even near that. We just He just passed the ball to Scotty's hands. I've never seen an animation like that before. Chill. Why are you? You were past the halfway line! Why did you stop running and start running backwards? That's twice now. That's not on Jack Sigma in a car. That's on bad devs. That's an idiotic AI. The AI in 2K gets worse and worse. I don't know how it gets worse every year. Like, I actually don't know. If we got the art, the AI from my like 2K15, how they react, it's better than this crap. Like, why are you popping to there? What point is there popping to the halfway line? There's nothing to do with Jack Sigma. That is all... And I mean all to do with the gameplay depths. Good de good defense. I should have shot fake them. I'm just annoyed. So I did something dumb. That's a brick. Come on, we all know, even though he does really love guns, the Jamarant is not very good at shooting. Green, that one. That's just because he's on cold ring. And he's on cold ring because he's been popping to the halfway line. Good steal. Let's run. Toss it back to him. There we go. Through contest and cold ring. That's good. That release is smooth, though. It's a lot smoother than I initially thought it was going to be. It's a good foul, I think. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Oh, don't you? You're not going to be able to burn him. His player builds too wide. It's an awful shot. Again, why are you trying to shoot with Jamarant? Maybe. There we go. That's another can uh, lightly that Jack Sigma's hit. It's a terrible shot. Big board by Pistol Paul. You know, you can shoot that one. I'll trust you with that. That's unlucky. You know what? Just, why are you shooting this crazy stuff? Pistol Paul, you're good. No, go grab it. Go grab it, Paul! It's a terrible shot. Run, LeBron. Run, LeBron. Look, you just win us this game, LeBron. We're good. Please step back on me. He's going to step up. Oh, he's got to do it. And that's a nice dunk there for Jack Sigma. Okay, that's nine points here. Like, if he wasn't rolling to, to the halfway... If he didn't roll to the halfway line a few times there, we'd have won this game already. And we'd have probably at least seven extra points. That's a great defense possession there by Jermaine O'Neal. We'd have at least seven if he didn't roll to dumb places. And again, that's not on him. That's not on the card. That's on the AI of the game. Gotta dunk it. Or the, or take the layup. That works. He's got Giannis. He's got Giannis clamped. Why is T Mac the one that's open? That's a good shot. I can't. When we help off T Mac, bad stuff happens. Like, I don't know why. How? Why it's hard to to do? Not help off. Stop popping to the halfway line. Oh my god! Can you just stop popping to the halfway line? I'm gonna have next time I'm going pick and roll and just hit him early. 
I'm going pick and roll. Great defense. He is clamping up Invincible Giannis. And that is LeBron not boxing out. That's a terrible shot. Big board. Okay, Sigma. You're going to roll. And I'm going to pass the ball to you straight away. See, that's what happens. That's a bad release, Mick. Oh my god, I shot an early. Good steal. What? Wait, so we stole the ball put and dribbled the ball off a team like who was lying on the ground. That is an animation I don't think I've ever seen before. Okay, just be confident. If you get, just focus on his jump shot. Don't shoot off muscle memory. Because you're going to shoot it. Freaking contest right there and airball. What are you doing, Mick? I could have just ran around. I could have just ran by him. Shot the post fade or something. All right. Jack Sigma has locked up Invincible Giannis, and he has all of my points. I have taken incredibly dumb shots with him here. But that doesn't really matter. Well, he's all bar two of my points. He's going to have to continue to lock up Giannis. You know when I said he locked up Giannis? Apparently, I'm wrong about that. He had been locking up Giannis for everything up until the last possession of the game. Where Giannis, all Giannis has to do is just blow by him. Giannis had not blown by him at all in the, during this game. Game. Come on, that's a massive shot there. That is a massive shot by a Jack Sigma. He actually, because there was no contest, he actually popped to where he was meant to pop to. Okay, we're good. Awful shot. Game. Solid, solid performance there by Jack Sigma. Really solid performance there. So I can't stress it enough. This card, you just go get him. Go get him. Like, that release is good. Once you get used to it, it'll be good. Once you get used to it, it'll be a good release. I would love Rick Smiths right now. No. We're not minded Rick Smiths. But, uh, it is what it is. We're not going to get Rick Smiths. What's he, like, two more days? Is he still in the game for? But, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Jack Sigma. I'll put him in that, like, 7-2... Fifteen range of power forwards, in and around that, really good card, really really good card. 